Hey guys, Target Cycle and FPV, and I'm getting ready to do an RMA uh, video on uh, using this uh, Tyrannus. I've got an X9D Plus 2019. I'm just going to open the top of this off because it, it's got a label on the actual box itself, so let me do that. And then I'm going to pull up the uh, information on the um, on what this uh, what we need to do here. So let me let me zoom out a little bit, and then I can share the screen here. Ready? So let's do this. One, two. Whoops. One, two. Nope. Two. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Pull the radio out. We'll see what's going on. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I remember this one. It was the gentleman was doing an update, a firmware update, or something, and it has now bricked it or something to that effect. So let's go ahead and see what we got. All right. Uh, I'm just going to pull up the RMA just to make sure I'm remembering this properly. All right. Let's go check this out. Uh, 648. Whoops. That's wrong. Let's hit enter. Okay, so here's what it is. It says, uh, okay, need to update firmware. Compatible. Yes, I must have clicked the wrong file because now I cannot get the X9 to turn even in bootloader mode. Okay, so it won't go into bootloader mode or anything else. All right, so let's see what we got. First, let's. Oh, he's not kidding. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let me go get a battery. Uh, hey, you want to go inside? Come on. Yep. Oh. Oh, sorry. I had to get my cup inside. All right, let me find a battery that I can use for this. Here we go. You got one? <sighs> now let's see what we got. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to close it. No, I won't. But we can at least try this. Right? Um, yeah, you want to just turn the volume down? Just turn, yeah. Thank you. All right, so let's see what happens. So it goes to the OpenTX and it fails right here. Okay. So most likely, this is going to be something uh, hopefully pretty simple to fix. Let me go ahead and just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug the radio in. Okay. And I'm going to open my OpenTX and I'll show you the computer screen here in just a second. Okay. Uh, and let me here. Let me sh show you the screen now. Uh, let's do this. All right, there we go. And we're going to use this one. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to flash the bootloader here. So I'm going to click this button here. Now, I've, just to let you know, I've already got it prompted to open to the X90 2019 Special Edition. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just tell it I want to flash the bootloader uh, with the uh, newest firmware that I have, which should be two. Yeah, there it is, 0.11. So let's go ahead and write to TX. Oh, it's not compatible. Okay, what did I? Let me see. Oh, my bad. Hold on. <laughs> it's not the SE. Okay, so hey, you know what? That's a good lesson. I forgot. Uh, this wasn't the SE. So. Uh, you see this right here though? Um, when I went to go flash it, right? One thing that I did do is I still have this check hardware compatibility. And um, so because this wasn't the same firmware, it said it couldn't do it. So that's a good safety check. So there you go. We just tested that accidentally. But there you go. So I'm gonna go down and change my model uh, to the X90 2019. X90, not as X90 plus 2019, right? Okay, and now I'm going to flash the firmware and let's see if that works okay so either one uh, is not working so let's see what what do I have now I have the x9d plus 2019 this tells me perhaps that this firmware that was on here is the wrong firmware that the gentleman loaded because it's not accepting any of mine so we have the x9d plus 2019 okay just checking to make sure I'm not missing something here. I mean, I do so many of these that sometimes the, the obvious is right in front of me. So what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is let me see if I can. Um, I'll just put test a little test right here.
Extendy Plus, 2019. That's the right one. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna force it. So um, let's do this real quickly. I'm gonna actually take this, I'm gonna take the cable out and I'm gonna put this, oh, I can't get it to do anything. All right, well then that's fine. We're just gonna force it in there uh, by making sure we have the right firmware. So again, I'm gonna do a double check. I wanna look at everything here and make sure I have. <clears throat> sure I have everything that I need and I do. All right, so let's just go ahead and force the firmware. So we're going to click over here. Once we know that we have the right firmware selected, right? And you have to make sure of that. So once we have the right firmware selected, uh, we're just going to go ahead and force the firmware. We're going to remove this hardware compatibility check. And we're going to say right to TX. And we're just going to force it. And the reason we have to force it, and I've backed up to his old one so I can go back and see later what he actually wrote. All right? But right now we have to force it because it's not going to take it. So if you load the wrong firmware on, and then I have a compatibility check on mine, if your firmware, even though it's wrong, if that's what's on there, it's going to compare it to mine and say mine's wrong now, so it won't load it. So because I know that I'm loading the right one, I went back and verified this is the right one, uh, I can load it and force it on there, and it should be just fine. So we're going to see what happens here in just a second. Hey, um, hey babe. Yeah. Uh, so uh, measuring the motors... For the 14, for the uh, four, uh -huh. it, it's the right one. So can, did he get, did you write him and ask him to send you a picture of the? Yes, I did. And did he write? He said sure, or he will, or something. Okay. Sent okay. But I know, I haven't checked yet. I haven't checked until I got back. That's fine. Okay, so it says that it's done, so let's put close. Now what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> that was to, we're gonna go ahead and safely eject. Remove. Welcome to OpenTM. And there you go. Whoops, I meant to show you guys that. Look, see? There you go. So we've got to check now and see what's happened, okay? So we had the wrong bootloader firmware put on there. Now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and power this off and let's see what firmware. So we have 2.3.11 X9D plus 2019 OTX. So we had this right. We had the bootloader wrong, or the gentleman, uh, the customer had put on the wrong bootloader firmware. It does look now like everything is perfect, um, and it looks like everything is matching properly. It's a very simple fix. Uh, let me just make sure. OBTX X90 plus 2.3.11 OTX, and then the bootloader OBTX 2.3.11 OTX. Looks good. So I'm just going to hit exit. Welcome to open TX. Switch so warning. Let's flip all the switches to get the warnings out. Here we go. And if we go to our main menu and hit page. You can set all that up. Uh, so version 2.31 OTX. And uh, let's see. And he's got ISRM 1.3, which is fine for now. That's it. Everything else looks really good. I don't see any. Oh, you know what? Trim center. Trim go. center. Trim center. Okay. And I think what I will do is I'll just go in and I'll set up the rest of this. Might as well go ahead and get it to where it's working perfect when he gets it back. So we are in month number four. Today is the 20th. Uh, okay, it's not 11.45. It is 9.55. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. We are on... Yep, that's perfect. Everything else looks great. I mean, this thing's set to go, and he should have all his, oops, all his uh, models. Well, he's got two models. Okay, so there you go. That's it, guys. Um, pretty simple. Uh, usually, when you see something like that, when it's not starting up properly, it's usually going to be something about reflashing the bootloader. So in this case, uh, I don't know what firmware got put on the bootloader or what had happened, but when it was rejecting it as a check hardware compatibility, I had to go ahead and force it on there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm going to check something real quickly. If I'm not mistaken on this, uh, here, you know what? I'll just share you my screen real quick. Let's look at this real quick. Um, I believe that if I go here, right, and I check for this, I think that they both use the same firmware, but um, I'm pretty sure. 
But in either case, uh, the SE and the 19, I don't remember exactly, but I think they did. Anyways, okay, so everything's working great now. So that's it. That's a quick fix. I'll pack it up and send it back to the customer. He's good to go. And uh, everybody else, if you have any questions, please, as always, hit us up at the Cyclone FPV. Uh, you go to our website and use our contacts uh, at the bottom there under support on the left side. Scroll down to support. Uh, also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll show your support that way. And, uh, and um, well, I guess that's it. You can always go to our, oh, wait, I have little buttons to push. Hold on, check this out. So, yeah, so you go to our groups right here. I'm doing this like I can see it. I can't even see it, so I'm assuming it's right there. Um, this is Facebook groups, right? Go there and post your questions, join, do whatever you want to do, and then, whoops, let me get this off and do that. Subscribe to our, our YouTube. I'll get all this under wraps soon enough. All right, that's 10, almost 11 minutes, guys. God bless, be safe, and most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, guys, so go make the most of it, please. You can always fly later. Until next time, peace. <laughs>